Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to showcase my off-meta no pet hybrid magicka sorcerer build for the Scribes of Fate DLC patch. This build is capable of pulling over 110k on the parse dummy and is viable for most content. As with all builds, please use them as a baseline and alter them to your specific needs or preferences. With that being said, here we go. So as per usual, starting off in the character sheet, I have 64 points in a magicka and I'm running the Thief Mundus. For the race, we're a high elf. I think high elves have some of the best passives for magic a DPS. Moving on to food, you have a few different options, but the best in slot is going to be Clockwork Sisters Filet. A cheaper and almost just good option would be Witch Mother's Potent Brew. And lastly, if you're parsing or need more sustain, Ghastly Eyeball is always the go-to. And very quickly, for potions, because we don't have access to Major Sorcery or Prophecy, we're going to be running Spell Power Pots. Make sure you have 3 points from the Alchemy Skill Line Medicinal Use to benefit from the full duration of the potions. So for CP, for the Blue Tree, we're going to be running Exploiter, Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, and Wrathful Strikes. Feel free to swap out Exploiter for crit damage CP like Fighting Finesse if you need more crit damage or don't have access to off balance. And for the Red Tree, Sustain by Suffering, Siphoning Spells, Rejuvenation, and Balance Vitality. I want to note that Sustain by Suffering is a flex spot, you can add whatever you need. Something like Fortified would, would do just fine as well. So for the gear, we're running a typical setup with Reliquin Pillar and Zons with Harpooners. So in the main hand, we have a Reliquin Dagger, Nurnhone, with a Flame Damage Enchant. In the offhand, a Pillar Nurn Dagger, Charged, with a Poison Damage Enchant. For the back bar, Pillar Nurn Greatsword, Infused, with a Weapon Damage Enchant. For the head and shoulders, we have one Medium, one Light, Zons, both traded in Divines, with Max Mag Enchants. And for the rest of the body, except for the legs, we have four pieces of Reliquin, all in Divines, with Max Mag Enchants. And for the leg slot, Harpooners, Divines, Max Mag. And for the jewelry, three pieces of Pillar and Urn, all with multi-effect weapon and spell damage enchants. For the skills, we're going to be running Haunting Curse because we don't have pets, so Daedric Prey isn't really going to do much for us. Our spammable, Crystal Fragments. Mage's Wrath is going to be our Execute. You can start casting it at 20%. And whenever you cast this, if you're Frag procs, use your frags to save some Magicka as well. Deadly Cloak, this is just here because we need another dot instead of our pet. Bound Aegis, this is here for the passive it gives, which is the Max Mag, and also gives us access to the passives from Daedric Summoning. And Greater Storm Atronach, our usual ult. On the back bar, Stampede and Carve, two really good dots that you can get if you run a two-hander. Hurricane, really good dot as well. Um, the damage ramps up, so don't cast this early, and gives you access to Major Resolve and Minor Expedition. Trap, because we need Minor Force and does good damage, also procs tons of hemorrhaging, and double barring bound Aegis for the passive for the Magicka. And Power Overload is here just for the Parse Dummy to ult dump, but you can always run your Storm Atronach on the back bar, and then in the front bar put something like Flawless Stormbreaker. So for the rotation, just keep up your dots as best as possible. The priority is going to be Carve, Stampede, Curse, Trap, Hurricane, and Deadly Cloak. Also try to keep, also try to cast a back bar dot around 10 seconds to ensure that your pillar procs. Your spammable is going to be Crystal Frag, so use that to fill in the gaps. And at 20%, you can start using Mage's Wrath, and then use Crystal Frags only when it procs. Greater Storm Atronach is the ult you want to be using, and Power Overload is just there to ult dump if you have a 500 ult. And just very quickly for closing thoughts, try to keep up rally stacks as best as possible. Since we're only one barring rally, you want to make sure that you hit those light attacks, especially when you make a transition from back bar to front bar after you cast your dots. So just very quickly, if you want to swap to a range build, swap out your dagger and your two-hander for an Inferno Staff on both bars. So back bar would be Pillar, front bar would be Reliquin. Or if you want a different set, use the Inferno Staff of another set. For the skills, just swap out Deadly Cloak for either a ranged spammable or another dot. Something like Elemental Weapon or Force Pulse would be good options. On the back bar, because we're running an Inferno Staff now, you're going to have to take off Stampede and Carve. Swap that out for Unstable Wall and then a dot of your choice. And also you can swap the morph of your trap to the range trap. It'll do less damage and proc less hemorrhaging, but it does give you the ability to play at range. And if you don't want to run Reliquin or can't run Reliquin, you can run something like Aegis Caller. Or you could go the Light Armor route and use something like Depths. Which, which would be totally fine as well. So for other gear alternatives, you can go bossy. You'd have to control your magicka, so be wary of that. Soraya, really good for stationary fights. 
Berserking Warrior and Aegis Caller are really good alternatives as well. Be aware that both of those require martial melee damage, so you would have to either use daggers or two-hander. And then Coral Riptide is another good set if you can control your Stam. And lastly, as per usual, a budget build would be something like Order's Wrath and Julianos. That wraps up the build explanation section of this portion. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below or come join our Discord. Link is in the description. I will have a written guide linked in the description for those who would prefer that. And as always, thank you to my YouTube members. Feel free to stick around for an attached parse. If not, have a good day and thank you again.